hello guys welcome back to my channel again <laughs> um today i'll be showing you how to make these really really delicious pumpkin spice muffins um this is basically an extension of the previous video and kind of runs with the same theme of warm cozy meals um except this one is a dessert food yet it's still using the same star of last week's video and that is our pumpkin yay the one for me not the love of my life really but anyway um i hope you see how versatile this wonderful vegetable is and what we're going to be doing with it so that you can make your life much more interesting during this lockdown so time. if you're interested then keep watching and like the video so a bowl of one and a half cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of oat flour we're adding in a quarter teaspoon of salt one and a half teaspoons of baking powder half a teaspoon of ginger powder one teaspoon of ground allspice i'm using the woolworths one um but i'm pretty sure that they sell them at your local pick and pays or just any other store otherwise if you don't have these then you can just make your own combination because it's just a combination of cloves um cinnamon and nutmeg and then luckily you can omit one of these if you don't like for example cloves you can just use the nutmeg and the cinnamon and if you're using a mix then you'll just use half a teaspoon of cinnamon for example and half a teaspoon of nutmeg anyway you're going to mix your dry ingredients together just to ensure that all the spices and just all the ingredients are incorporated and well combined before you add in our wet mixture and now moving on to our wet mixture we're going to be curdling our milk remember how to make buttermilk is you use an acid to your milk and just a little tip is if you want to make the best buttermilk the plant-based one try and use a milk that has more fats and i find that generally soy milk tends to have a bit more fat so it tends to curdle a bit nicer with the vinegar otherwise you can just use um, almond milk um, but I don't suggest that you use oat milk if that's what you have only otherwise you can just not make buttermilk and just use the milk as is the making the buttermilk is not completely necessary you can skip this step if you only have oat milk on hand or if you don't really care I just think it really helps to further acts as a rising agent for our batter especially since we're using oat flour and it tends to be a bit heavier than um, normal cake flour Moving on swiftly, we're going to be adding in one cup of pumpkin puree um, to our wet ingredients and then we're going to mix that together. Try and go for a neutral pumpkin puree where the ingredients is just pumpkin or just make it yourself which is simple which is what I did as well. Just mash your own pumpkin and then use that. Adding in the black crude molasses is optional. I just think it helps to add another level of sophistication to our muffins, especially because we're using brown sugar and we just want to increase that, that flavor a little bit, just highlight it a bit. Um, so we're adding in uh, one teaspoon of black molasses. I just used two half teaspoons. Lastly, before there's any more mixing of anything, we're adding in two more ingredients. We're adding in one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Here I'm adding in two halves, which equal one teaspoon. Oh, and just... A disclaimer the vanilla essence is not completely completely necessary we already have the warm spices here that will be smelling up the kitchen really good and will really help to complement the pumpkin in the pumpkin spice muffins so the vanilla essence is not completely necessary but you can add it just to take it a bit higher up in notch um, and additionally after giving that a little bit of a mix we're also going to be adding in some brown sugar and that is a third cup of brown sugar that we're adding in there you can add less or more also depending on how sweet your pumpkin already is and also depending on just your tolerance in general and finally we're adding in some neutral vegetable oil this step is also again not very necessary if you're trying to go for an oil-free bake you can skip it out completely and you won't have to worry about your muffins being dry or having a lack of moisture because the pumpkin puree will really help to counteract that but if not i'm adding in a quarter cup of vegetable oil this is enough for me and you want to try and go for a neutral oil that won't impart any of its flavor and just spoil the the, the well curated balance of ingredients that we came up with right here
and then we're just gonna put two and two together and we're done so we're just making a well and just further mixing just to ensure it's mixed properly and then we're gonna add in our wet ingredients as you guys know i like to add my wet ingredients in increments i suggest this as well because it makes it easier to mix and just ensures you're not adding too much of anything and you just have better control this way so i added my first half mixed it in and then i'm gonna add in my second half and mix it in Try not to overmix when you're mixing your batter just because it's never good to overmix. Otherwise, you make it a bit too tough and, and not as soft and fluffy as we want them inside. And then we're going to take a greased pan or if it's not greased already, you can grease it like I'm about to do here. And we're using the one with only six because it's going to make only six large, wonderful muffins. If you want to make them smaller, you can also divide them into smaller tins, but just as a standard measurement, it makes six large muffins, perfectly large muffins. On that saucer, in case you're wondering, I, I separated some seeds because I wanted to use the pepitas for the top. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. On that note of what I'm going to do here, I am going to um, put in two spoonfuls tablespoonfuls of the batter into each little pocket and that is exactly how much actually fits it was actually wonderful it made me really happy it's very satisfying when your measurements work out in the end anyway here i am just shaping them to make them look a little bit prettier and then brushing them or rather rubbing them <laughs> with the back of my spoon with some of my non-dairy milk it also helped the spoon not to stick to the batter so it made the shaping much easier so that's just a pro tip or you can just use water if you want finally the last step before putting them into the oven is decorating them you cannot do this if you don't care to decorate them or you can put icing and make them into cupcakes cream cheese nice frosting or you could opt for decoratives and add nuts like I'm doing. I'm adding pepitas and I'm also going to be adding in some slithered almonds. Anyway, after doing this, we're going to put them into the oven, which has been preheated um, at 200 degrees Celsius. And we're just going to decrease it to 190 degrees Celsius and bake them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it smells heavenly and wonderful.
perfect perfect you <laughs> i finally perfect I finally perfected the recipe, so now I decided to share it with you guys, and I really hope that you guys are able to make them. Delicious warm spices here, cozy, you can have it with a cup of tea, you can have it in the morning because it's kind of healthy. Um, you can have it as a snack, you can have it as dessert, you can have it, you can just have it, really, just, just, hmm. beautiful. Anyway, um... <laughs> Why am I putting oil in my mouth and I'm trying to end the video? In the meantime, you can look there. <laughs> my Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you can see how easy it is to make really delicious vegan baked goods. These are really good. These, these, I'm telling you, I'm showstopper. I hope you see how easy it is to substitute eggs for other things um in this case our moisture factor that we tried to use instead of eggs which was actually the star of the the recipe was the pumpkin puree because that helps to add moisture and i guess also acts as a binding ingredient um anyway these are really fluffy they're soft on the inside i'm not joking i'm not look 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 and they're delicious they're just delicious oh.